Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, it's Dollar Tree haul day. I made a trip over to the Dollar Tree today, and, well, I got some stuff, not a ton, a ton of new stuff, but I found quite a few cute things here that I want to show you guys what I got. So first off, let me show you what's not so new. Um, I picked up another box of the Chewy Fudge Brownies of Duncan Hines. I like these. These are a 13 by 9 inch pan you can use for these. And because um, these go quick in my house once I make those. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked up a bunch of these cupcake holders. And of course, I don't use them for cupcakes. I use them to make bird toys. And I'm going to have to do a video on that one of these days. And I'll put it in my other animal channel here. But, um,. I've always loved to tear these balls that I make with these apart. So I picked up four packs of these. You get 90 um, of the cupcake tapers in here. Nothing spectacular there. And then I did pick up two of these in the um, kitchen section. And these are the bamboo cutting boards. And I like this. This is a nice size. Um, they're not real big. They're, well, it doesn't even say. Um, where's my ruler? I always like to give you guys measurements here. These are about eight and a half by uh, almost six inches. Eight and a half by six inches, we'll say. And uh, this is a great size, you know, if you just need to cut up a few onions or something like that. And I like the bamboo because they're very antibacterial when you use those. They clean up well. And you just don't want to put these in the dishwasher because they do tend to fall apart uh, fairly easy, you know, because they're all glued together. And then, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I picked up these. I had never noticed these at the Dollar Tree before, and I don't know how good these are. It's from American Seed. It's the suet, and we have, you know, a couple of the little holders out there on our bird feeder. Um, but it says high energy for wild birds. But um, I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they've had them before or not. Uh, Year-round feeding, it says. Um, the truck's cardinals. Chickadees, blue jays, and goldfinches. So we're gonna try these. My husband always gets some, you know, at Walmart and stuff that he likes to get for them. And he hasn't been able to find the ones that he likes lately. So we'll see if they like these. Sometimes they're a little picky, these uh, outside birds. Um, let's see, what else did I get before I get into the crafter square stuff? Oh, I picked up one of these. Now my daughter gave me one of these for Christmas, and I had never seen them before. And this is a no-touch key. For like when you're at the grocery store. Let me open this up here real quick. And I thought it was really cool when she gave me mine. And I did not know that they had them at the Dollar Tree. But you can use these to like pull open doors with. Like if you're in the bathroom or something. You know now with all this virus stuff going on. If you don't want to touch the door handle. You can use it for that. You can also use it for like when you're putting in your pin number and things. Um, so yeah it's just a cute little, little gadget I thought. I picked one of those up. They have them in a bunch of different colors. So I got myself another one of those. And then I picked up this pen. I thought this was really, really pretty. But what I did notice after I got it home, it looks like a... It's just plastic. It looks kind of like glass. It has uh, black ink. But look how much ink is in there. It's like this much ink down in here. So if this is a really nice pen that you like, you might want to pick up a couple of these. But I just thought that was so pretty. And I'm like a a penaholic too. I like picking up different cute pens when I see them. Alright, let me jump into here what I found in the crafter square section. I was very excited to find let me see a whole bunch of stuff here from Crafter Square. Of course, because that's where I hit first. I found the die cuts. I was so excited to find these. I've seen people hauling them. Um and uh, I haven't been able to find them. And these are the metal die cuts and it cuts out Something like this that you could use, you know, and embellish a card or whatever you're making. You know, it gives you some ideas there on the back. So we're going to give these a try and see how well they work. And I thought this one was real pretty. You could do a whole nice edge of, you know, different flowers and things. Or you could cut it off the top of the card. It shows that way. I just thought that was cool. I don't know if they have different ones. I only found these four different ones. And these are nice for, like, making edges and things. And that's what they look like. Um, but yeah, you get three of those in here. It says five and an eighth inch long, so it has the stars and things. And then there was this other one here 
that has like rainbows and stuff and then just different designs that you could cut out and that's what that looks like. So I was really happy to find these. Um, hopefully they work well. We're going to try them out here one of these days. Um, here are the numbers. Let me give you the numbers because you guys are always asking me for numbers. So if you just want to pause that and get the numbers off of these die cuts if you've been looking for them. There's those two and then there's these two here. I hope I got that. I'm trying to look in here. If you can get the SKU number if anybody's interested in looking those up. And then I found some more of the cutouts. I picked up a couple more of the happy birthday ones. Um, these are the laser cut craft words. And I know a lot of people say they're looking for the wood words. These aren't actually wood. They're more like a pressed cardboard kind of thing. And on the happy birthday one, I kind of had to check them because some of them, the day had broken off. So I did find some that were in good shape. So I thought those were pretty cool. And then I found these with the whale and a penguin and a dolphin. I really like these. And then this one has another dolphin in there and a polar bear and this cool looking little fish. And then I found this one has an octopus in it and another dolphin and it's really nice seashell. So I thought those were really nice too. And then I picked up some of these little dot stickers. I like these in the pastel. I have a bunch of these in, in other colors, but I really like these pastel colors. And they had these smaller ones. You get 117 in there. And you get 60 of the larger size ones. So I thought those were really cool too to use for something. I will just stick them away. And then I found these pretty stickers. These look like, uh, they're called metallic stickers. There's 10 of them in here. They're just, you know, like plastic. But they're really nice. They have a nice shine to them and everything. So I picked up one of those. And then they had this style too. And I thought those were really pretty. So that was good. I only picked up one of each. These I picked up two, and these are for like, to make like birthday cards or something with. These are the pop-up stickers, and it has the cake and the candle and the balloons, and it says for you on there. And yeah, I thought those were really nice. So I did pick up two of those. And then I picked up a couple things here for my grandson's ferrets to play with. I thought these were cute. They have these little foxes here. They had a red one, and then I got this tan one, and they like to drag these little things around and play with them. I just got a little squeaky in the tail, <laughs> but I just thought they were really cute, so I grabbed two of those. And let's see, what else? I picked up a few signs in the um, Easter section that I thought were cool. I like these. I always get anything that has a nice metal thing on it, and I'm probably going to redo this one. I'm not crazy about the coloring on it. But um, I just, I love the metal. Like I said, I wish they would just start selling these metal little figures. But that was a nice size one. And I did pick up this. And this one I'm not going to do a thing to. I'm just going to hang this up because I thought it was so darn cute. And that was with the pink truck. Um, and it's got the little bunny butt sticking out of the back of it there. And then it has this happy Easter. And I don't think a thing needs to be done to this. It's cute just the way it is. So I'm just going to hang this one up for Easter. And let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got this little sign too. They had these last year and I made something out of them. So I was happy to see if they had them back again. Um, because it has, you know, the two carrots that hang off the bottom that say Happy Easter. And then I love this cute little bunny. I just think he is adorable. So I was glad to see that they had these back again this year. So maybe we'll make him into something too. And then I picked up a pack of these. You get a pack of four of these little fabric treat bags. And these are fun to do stuff with, too. I did something with them last year, too. I can't remember exactly what I did with them now. But it's just like a kind of like a burlap kind of bag. And it has your little um, jute string ties. And these just really cute faces that are, that are printed on them. So you get four in there. And they're four inches by eight inches. So... I got two of those, and then I get picked up these, and I didn't realize that one of them's kind of got a boo-boos on his face when I picked them up. But I like these little suns. I thought those were really cool to put out in your garden and stuff, or we may add this to something else, too. But I didn't notice this one's kind of scratched up. But that's all right. It'll go outside. Nobody will notice. But aren't they neat? And they come on that real nice, long 
you know, garden steak. So I grabbed two of those guys. Something different. I haven't seen those before. And then the last thing I got this week was a few more flowers. I thought these were really cool. These are a little bit messy, I must say. When I took them out of the bag, a lot of these little... Um, and these are called Astelby? I don't know. I'm terrible at names of things. Those are these. And... <laughs> Oops, these are from a different pile over here. Get over there. But I thought these were really cool. They're really pretty, and I like the greens that come with it, too. I thought that was really nice. So I got two of them in the yellow. Uh, maybe they're done falling off, because they don't seem to be making as much mess now. But these little balls were all over the bag when I took them out. And then I got two of these. It's kind of a yellowish, whitish, greenish. I don't know. It's an off-white color here. But I got two of those, and then I picked up two in the blue. And I just thought they were really pretty. So that is it. That is all I got at the Dollar Tree this week. Um, so yeah, so maybe next week we'll find some more exciting goodies. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everybody.